So today I'm behind the wheel of the 2022 Volkswagen Golf GTI SE. And I'm gonna take some time to go through the interior of this thing. So starting as I normally do from left to right. Over on the left, you got your window switches. You've got the rear mirror adjust. Up top, you got your door latch. To the right of that, you've got your door locks. Up and to the right, you've got different touch sensitive uh, lighting uh, buttons for basically the front, um, the different lighting modes, as well as the um, temperature controlled for the, the front window and the rear window as well. So you can kind of defrost them uh, quicker. Moving to the center, you have a full crisp clear digital display. Um, it can be changed between different views and different color schemes based on the different drive modes you're in. So right now I'm in an eco mode, but um, I'm gonna just swap between the different uh, templates, I guess you could say you can be in. So you got a map. This is kind of where I've had it sitting but also if you should you switch between different drive modes, the color scheme changes. So eco is more of a blue setting, comfort, red, sport is red, custom, you can you know, adjust and it turns yellow, um, but just leave it in eco for the purposes. When I, I'll show you the different uh, ways you can adjust the drive modes as well as the custom mode when I get to the navigation display. So you can adjust the different options up top uh, with this view button on located on the steering wheel. Uh, there's also the tuner buttons over on the right, a different uh, the heated steering wheel button over on the left. You've got your different cruise control options, lane assist, um, as well as uh, volume control. Keep a better look at the steering wheel, which features the GTI branding on the bottom. Moving to the navigation display. It basically has a bunch of different um, bubbles for different apps, as you could imagine, for things such as your phone, radio, media, navigation, vehicle, which is basically provides a different statuses for the vehicle, exterior lights, status screen, data. You can also go back. So I usually run it in Android Auto, so that's why that's, the bubble's there. You got sound, ambient lights, help, settings, assist systems, legal notices, things like that. That's, and you can also control much of the climate controls up top as well. So this is all touch, a touch sensitive bar um, for uh, the temperature for both the driver and passenger as well as volume controls up top as well. Um, but right here is like a hub of four buttons. So the climate control, you simply tap the climb up button and everything is kind of a touch um, sensitive button. You got heated seats up top as well. Um, drive modes is this mode button right here. You push that and this is where you can swap between the different drive modes. So this is kind of where I was just uh, displaying up on the left. Uh, custom mode, you can adjust. So for custom, you can adjust your driving dynamics between sport and comfort, the steering between sport and comfort, drivetrain between comfort, sport and eco, the engine sound between comfort, sport, eco, and they see between us, uh, comfort, sport, eco, lighting assist, comfort, sport, climate control between comfort and eco. So for the most part, this has uh, been set. Previous uh, driver, previous journalists kind of knocked everything into the sport modes, but I've been driving around town in the eco and the sport mode for the most part. You also have a menu button which are a parking menu. So it provides all the different cameras around the vehicle. And the assist button top left showcase the vehicle's assist systems. Tuck below, you've got two USB-C plugs right here. This is a nice ledge, but it is also a um, cell phone charger, wireless cell phone charge pad. Coming back from there, you've got the engine start stop button located top left. Then you've got the parking brake button and then the knob for the gear lever so it has reverse neutral drive and sport so put your foot on the brake you can go between them once you're in drive you hit it again you're in sport put it back in park for safety this is a nice little spot maybe a cell phone because i here currently housing the bottom of my gimbal you've got the parking uh, or the emergency brake latch as i would say right here 
moving back from there you've got two um, spots for a cup holder um, and pushing this kind of releases kind of a more grippy spot as well um, there's an image right here for a key that's just if it uh, you need to register the key to the car that's kind of the spot where you would do it you got a 12 volt smokers plug right here and you've got the armrest which reveals a nice little spot uh, for it's pretty deep about a, a arm to a wrist depth this is the passenger side this features a nice deep glove box get you a look at the passenger door the seats feature the nice plaid style material which also continues to the rear. There's a sunroof for the front of the cabin, as well as the sunroof controls. With that is pretty much the interior of the 2022 Volkswagen Golf GTI SE. If there's a feature I didn't go in depth enough on and you have some questions, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer or at least point you in a direction where you can get an answer. But thanks for watching.